Hey, it's me, 499, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm gonna show you guys how to get A+. And actually gonna show you guys how excited I got when I got A+, as well, at the end. So, for A+, uh, in Road to Elite, it's actually pretty challenging. Okay, as post-editing me. Uh, what you need to also use is your uh, the money that you win from each match because as you can see on the screen there are skill booster and there are stamina booster so i used skill booster on the week of pay-per-view when it says go to the pay-per-view for the next uh, like the next event so it might be revolution it might be all out it might be double or nothing it's your choice but i did it at least for i think so two or three uh, pay-per-views and then secondly uh, when i was out of stamina um, i used the skill uh, the stamina booster uh, thing that you can see on the screen as well um, which actually gives you around 30 ish stamina i guess and uh, for that you can actually you might be able to go for an intense training because of that so i actually completed few matches on 40 or less stamina 40 or less stamina i talked about stamina in the later part of this video so just keep watching and uh, the second thing is like on the top you see there is like a high low normal or uh, like uh, excellent thing written and that is your momentum and confidence so if it is on excellent that means you're gonna get the signature and finisher more faster than other one like excellent means the best second is uh, high then after that normal normal then low so low is the worst and then excellent is the highest so try to keep it on excellent with go uh, uh just uh, for that you need to go out there's gonna be a go out sightseeing and there's gonna be a tv press conference uh press conference give you 15 stamina plus one uh like uh, one uh increase in the confidence or the momentum so if you are on normal sightseeing will give you to excellent uh tv conference gonna get you to high so just to make sure you need to get this to excellent as much as possible so that you can end the match quickly and easily so let's continue with the video now so what you need to do is get uh, more than 125,000 uh, 125k uh, skill points. So as you can see on the top uh, at the end that I got 126 something and uh, for that you need to play uh, on elite difficulty first of all then second of all you need to complete few mini games. Uh, you actually need to win few mini games and uh, only do intense training and um, because other training doesn't worth it and uh, for intense training make sure your stamina uh, is above 82 because if it is above 82 or 81 it actually uh, minimizes your injury chance to 0% and you need that because you can't fail any intense training because if you fail you're gonna lose another turn going to the hospital so you don't want that because you need to do that and then second of all there's gonna be a like a talking segment in between uh, each matches like it's gonna have a red symbolish thing red symbolish thing next to dining go out or uh, intense tra uh, training section and when that happens that means there is a character talking thing and sometimes the character actually gives you about uh, 500 to 1500 skill points so you need that you need that you can't miss that so you need that and then obviously you need to and obviously you can't win uh, you can't lose a single fight because if you don't lose a single fight it actually at the end gives you 5000 extra skill point so i was around 116 before getting the rewards of ending it so uh, what i got 
was AEW Championship uh, and uh, I didn't lose a single fight and um, uh, there was few other I don't remember but you can see that on the screen right now and uh, all I can say is you actually need to grind a lot and yes one more thing if you are losing a match just uh, quickly either pause the game or any do anything and you just need to quit the game directly close the game because if you close the game it's gonna start from the previous save which is a match behind so like just imagine uh, you are um, in a match for uh, AEW World Championship at All Out or something and a crit Zeriko actually almost makes you tap and uh, once you once he's about to make you tap just pause the game and quit the game then you need to play the Chris Jericho match again from the starting I know you need to play from the starting so um, I know it's hard but if you are trying to get this trophy you need to make uh, use of every single exploit or maybe some tricks uh, of your sleeves so that you can get it because Elite is not WWE Legend difficulty, it's even harder. If you remember AJ Styles Tower back in the day during the original game launch, then you might know how hard that was and it's kind of similar. And uh, I would recommend uh, you guys getting uh, like a powerhouse or something like uh, maybe like uh, Big Show or Paul Wright. Because Big Show is WWE name, but Paul Wright is uh, AW name, something like that. Because if you go for uh, like uh, Lucha Libra Cruiserweight type, then you can't actually uh, win multiple fights easily. Because uh, uh, like I gone with Jeff Hardy, I gone with Jeff Hardy. But the issue with that was when I got in a fight with Big Show, uh, it was pretty hard because. He just keep on blocking everything and I need to beat him in 3 minutes. So there was no way of me beating in 3 minutes just because he was kicking out of my 3 finisher plus 4 signature in a single match and uh, he just keeps kicking out. So what I did is I just set it to elite. Even I tried on easy difficulty he still kicks out every single time. So there was no way that he's gonna lose. So what I did is I just put it on Elite and after that um, I just made the match draw because then it won't count as a win but nor it will count as a lose. So it's a win-win situation. So you might not get as much as a skill point for winning compared to draw. Uh, so all I can say is that you can do few matches like that and for there's gonna be a match uh, depending which character you pick there's gonna be a match against either that triangle or inner circle and if it is a triple thread kind of match like uh, handicap match because uh, during uh, like uh, that triangle it's actually kind of a three on one handicap match because there's no disqualification they came in the ring and they're starting beating you and all so uh, you can go for some matches on normal difficulty or easy difficulty depending on your choice but I would recommend try to complete as hard as possible like as much as you're capable of but for other matches and for training for mini game make sure you are on elite because elite gives you most skill points so you need that and uh, and make sure before starting road to elite on elite difficulty make sure you learn the game properly because you need to reverse a lot of time so what i did i turned off easy countering because i don't know it was messing with my reversal so l1 is for square and circle reversal r1 is for square and triangle reversal and for xbox it's gonna be lb rb and for X and um, X and Y, it's gonna be RB. And for A and B, it's gonna be LB. So you need to remember that. So depending on uh, what your opponent is doing, 
try to press the spam I actually spam the button but actually timed the spamming so that I can reverse and uh, I think so I'm gonna actually show you guys the my last match which was against Miro or something me um, I think so it's either gonna be second last match plus last match uh, so second last was MJF last was Miro so what I could say is uh, they actually reverse a lot so you need to practice your reversing and uh, most of the elite opponents actually do grapple which means LB or uh, uh, L1 reversal and um, that's how I don't know game is and I played it on pre-release game uh, so maybe in the near future it might change it might get harder it might get easier I don't know because I played it on a pre-release patch and pre-release version of the game and by the time it I think so it's gonna release for you guys there's gonna be another update and uh, hopefully it doesn't get bugged like anything doesn't get bugged because that's what to uh WWE and 2k is supposed to do but hopefully thq uh does not mess this up and um if you have any other question do let me know in the comment section and yes at the end you're gonna hear me scream but my scream gonna get cut it out and uh it just because of uh like mike was on the other direction where i was sitting so it actually cancelled my audio so after that you're gonna uh, like hear me too much hyped so i just wanted to let you guys know the reaction to it so that's why it is here i know this video is long but it was supposed to be because it's fully detailed so this is it and see you guys later peace out Let's freaking go guys! Let's freaking go! I got A plus! And now I can get the plus of AEW fight forever! Fight forever! World's first person to get the plus! Let's freaking go! Let's get it in the next video guys! See you guys!